Hi everyone, I'm Camille, and welcome to How to Fill Your Room with Spirit. We'll make a spirit riding free DIY to give your room some extra flair. Fact, horses love food. I put down fresh hay for Boomerang and Chica Linda. Did you want me to fix up a stall for Spirit too? Thanks, Turo, but Spirit spends the night out with his herd. <laughs> he would like some oats though. So you won't have any trouble finding an empty feed bag lying around the barn to make this amazing feed bag planter. <laughs> Sorry, it's not dinner time yet. How do you hear that? For this you'll need one burlap sack, one flower in a pot, make sure it's small enough to fit inside your sack, macrame string, paint in any color you want, a sponge brush, a paint palette, a small plastic trash bag, a glue gun, scissors, masking tape, paper towels, and a Sharpie. Start by cutting the string on your burlap sack. Then pull it out. Open up your trash bag and lay it flat. Turn your burlap sack inside out. Put your burlap sack inside your trash bag. Make sure to push it into one corner. Now draw a line just below the top of your burlap sack, right about here. Finish the line all the way across the trash bag. Remove your burlap sack. Cut along the line. Get rid of the top of your bag. Put your sack back inside the trash bag. Hot glue the plastic bag to the top of the sack here. Glue the rest of the trash bag together. Then put glue on your trash bag here, here, and here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Careful, it's hot. Fold your plastic bag over. Then flip the whole thing over. Glue the top edge on this side. Turn the whole thing inside out. Put masking tape in the middle of your burlap sack. Do the same on the back. Now we're going to paint your burlap sack. Put down some paper towels. Paint the bottom half of the bag. Use your sponge brush. Paint it whatever color you want. I'm using turquoise. Do the same to the other side. Let it dry. Once it's dry, remove the tape. Cut here and here with your scissors. Cut your string one arm span length. Then do this two more times. Use the first piece to measure two more. Thread the strings through one of the cuts in your burlap sack. Then tie them in a knot. Pull them tight. Put something on your bag to weigh it down. Now get to braiding. Remove the weight. Feed the other end of your braid through the other hole. Tie the rope in a knot and cut off the excess. Now put the plant inside of your bag. You may need to shove it in a bit. Make sure it's tight. And there you go. It's so cute. Make as many as you want and hang them in your room. So there you have it, a planter that looks good enough to eat. <laughs> but don't eat it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Spirit Riding Free on Netflix and click here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV. 
and click here for more spirit DIY videos. Don't forget, comment down below what your favorite flower is. Bye everybody. Thank <music> you.